hello welcome so in this video we're going to learn about virus viroid and prion okay i call these the body invaders now let's begin let's start with viruses and let's begin with some facts about viruses uh, the first fact is this that viruses can infect or attack animals, plants, and bacteria. They can go inside their cells or their bodies and kill them, okay? And they can infect. Example of animal virus is Ebola, okay? And plant virus is tobacco mosaic virus or TMV. And lastly, a bacterium virus is bacterial phage. So in this picture, you can see the green objects are the virus or the viruses and the brown or red object is the bacterium cell that they are attacking. Fact number two, viruses have different shapes. Okay, they have very different shapes, very beautiful. Some of them look really beautiful, but they are very dangerous too. And scientists still don't know if viruses are living things or non-living things. Are they alive or not alive? This is because when viruses are outside a cell, they are non-living. But when they go inside a cell, they start to reproduce and they become they act like living things so they're like both non-living when they are outside the cell and living things when they are inside the cell now let's talk about the structure of viruses they are very simple uh, objects okay or things some viruses have only two things in their structure uh, they have a DNA or RNA, which we call as the genome, the genes. And around the genome, we have a protein, which we call as capsid. Okay, very, very simple. It has a genome and a capsid. But some viruses have a third uh, layer, which we call as envelope. So they have the genome, DNA or RNA, and they have a capsid, but they also have a third layer, which is called the envelope. The envelope is made up of uh, a membrane, just like the cell membrane, and there is some proteins around it, or we call them spike proteins or glycoproteins. Okay. Now, the viruses we, uh, who have or which have uh, only two structures, we call them naked viruses. And the ones with envelope, we call them envelope viruses. And here are some examples of naked viruses, adenovirus, envelope virus, SARS-CoV-2, the one which causes COVID-19, okay? It's an envelope virus. Now let's talk about how viruses can attack and kill a host. Now a host is an organism that the virus will attack or, or infect. It can be a person or it can be just one cell, like a bacterium cell, okay? That is a host. So how do viruses attack and kill a host cell or a host? There are two ways that viruses use. Some viruses will use only number one this way and the other viruses will use the other uh, other way. So let's look at the first way. This way is called the lytic cycle or lytic cycle. So in step one, the virus, which is shown here in pink, will step on the host cell or will attach to the host cell. This is the host cell. Step two, the virus will put its genes or DNA or RNA inside the host cell. And step three, it will use materials in the host cell 
to create the different parts of the viruses or the proteins of the viruses. So if you remember, uh, if you have DNA, we can use DNA to make messenger RNA and use messenger RNA to make proteins. So this is what happens. We call this biosynthesis. And the four, it will join the different parts together and form a new baby viruses. And step five, they will kill the cell and go out to look for more cells. Okay, so this is again a lytic cycle. It is a very, very fast cycle. Because of this, the virus can kill the whole cell in a very short time. In a very short time. Let's look at number two. Some viruses will use this second method. We call this lysogenic cycle. Now, in step one, in lysogenic cycle, the virus will attach on the host cell, just like in the lytic cycle. Step two, the virus will, again, put the DNA or RNA inside the host cell, just like the lytic cycle. But in step three, the DNA or RNA from the virus will join together with the DNA of the host cell. This blue circle is the DNA of the host cell, the bacterium cell, is circle. So the green one is from the virus. It will join together with the blue one, like that. Now the host cell doesn't know that there is what? A virus gene inside uh, the cell. So what does it do? It will grow and divide, grow and divide by mitosis, just grows. But every time it divides, it also copies the DNA or RNA of the virus, okay? And so all the, the new cells will have the virus genes or the virus genome. Now, at the right time, the, the virus DNA will wake up and it will use the materials in the cells to create the parts of the viruses and join them together and kill the cell. Okay, now what do I mean by at the right time? When there is a lot of nutrients or food, okay, inside the host cell, this can cause the virus gene to wake up, okay, and start to make viruses. Sometimes uh, when there is X-ray or radiation, X-ray, okay, uh, onto the host cell, this can cause the virus genes to start to make what? The new viruses. Now, this can take a long time, okay, because they have to wait for the right time. Because of this, these viruses can take a long time to kill their host. Example of such virus is HIV. Okay, it can take many years after you have the HIV before you die. Okay. So these are the two ways. Okay. Now, let's quickly talk about viroid. So we have virus and viroid. What is viroid? Viroid is even simpler than a virus. It is just an RNA that can cause diseases. There is no capsid around it, and there is no envelope around it. It is just RNA, I you can see here. It is made up of only RNA, no capsid, no envelope, and it can cause diseases in plants only. So this is a picture of a plant affected by a viroid. Next, let's talk about prion. Prions are abnormal proteins, okay? Abnormal proteins. And they cause diseases inside the host. So this is a normal protein with the alpha helix and beta sheet, okay, it's a structure. Sometimes a protein structure can change, okay? And it becomes abnormal. When it becomes abnormal, it can cause other proteins to become abnormal too, change their, their shape. And they cause diseases in mostly animals. 
Example of a disease caused by prion is called the mad cow disease. So inside the brain of the cow, the proteins, some proteins have become abnormal. And this causes the, the cow to become a bit mad, okay? Like cannot stay. It's uh, mad. It's called mad cow disease. And this is what? The end about the three things we've studied about virus, viroid, and prion. I want you to take this information and complete this worksheet, okay? And give it to me next week. I hope this is helpful. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.